Picture this, you're out on the lake fishing with your friends, a nice cold beverage between your feet. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your very own beverage management system. It's a cup holder! Yeah, it's a cup holder. It's probably one of the most durable cup holders around. I made this one 20 years ago and I still use it in my fishing boat. It just hangs on the side like that. Now before I continue, I just want to say this video is not condoning boozing and boating. We all know that's a bad idea, so let's not go there. However, when you're out there on the lake and it's hot, you need some liquid nourishment. You can have this hanging on the side of your aluminum boat or your canoe, and it'll keep your beverage safe from some doofus kicking it over. I bet you that happens when you're alone in the boat too. Yeah, it does. So, who's the doofus then? Yeah. So the tools you're going to need for this build are just a few. You need a hammer, you're going to need a flat blade screwdriver, you're going to need a drill, and lastly, a vise. So the parts you're going to need for this build are just a few. I put a, a list in the description for you if you want to go out and buy your own. And even if you don't want to make one of these for yourself, it makes a very unique gift if there's someone in your family who's a fisherman and needs a beverage management system. So the first item is a 3 inch ABS plastic coupler. That's called and that runs $3.11. We have an ABS plastic 3 inch end cap. That was $6.08 two stainless steel hose clamps that are $2.10 each for a total of $4.20. $4.20! Yeah! Yep. Yeah. These are 9 inch strong ties. Um, they're in the woodwork section. I also have a piece of steel cable and a hook. The hook was $3.48. Steel cable runs about a dollar. And we're going to put a little bit of weather stripping around the top, probably about 10 cents worth. And if you want, you can even paint it. A little bit of purple paint here. I like purple, 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 purple. And uh, just make sure it bonds to plastic because uh, a lot of paint doesn't stick to this ABS. So first off, I'm going to glue the two ABS halves together. See, I've got my nice gloves on because this stuff is pretty nasty. And uh, you don't want to get it on your skin a whole lot. And it's definitely got some fumes too. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this and go all the way around the edge. Give it a nice layer of glue. Right. And then we'll stick this guy right on there. Get it nice and straight. Wipe here and there. And once that's in place, now it's just a matter of let that glue set. These strong ties are going to be the hangers for our beverage management system. I'm going to give it three and a half inches. This is the part that'll be on the side the cup. So I'm going to put that in the vise right at that mark I made. Right like so. And then I'll hammer it over. Makes a nice square joint there. So I'm going to give myself about three inches on this one so that it'll fit on a fairly wide piece. I'm going to stick that on the vise. Right on that mark. And hammer it. This is now one of the hangers. Now I've got both brackets made, but there is a problem because they're straight. When I put them onto the cup holder, they're going to stick out at an angle, so they need to be bent. Well, I've got these both stuck in the vise now, and what I'm going to do is give them a little bend. And remember, precision isn't a big deal here. We're just making a cup holder. But if I give them a bend about like that, about like that, that should do us. So now we take our main cup holder and I'm going to drill a hole on the bottom. The reason I'm drilling a hole in the bottom of this is it's a drain. Um, if you're out fishing in the rain, this thing will fill up with water and your can is just going to float up out of it and piss you off. So that's why the drain hole. So the next thing I'm going to do is make the lanyard. So I've got the steel cable and these little crimpers, they're just a little aluminum thing. So I've got the crimper stuck in the vise and first I'm just going to make a loop. So this one goes down, you see it coming through the top. You don't want it sticking out because the end of this cable is actually pretty sharp. So I keep it down like that and then I squash it with the vise. You can squash a lot of things in a vise. It's pretty handy. Just remember, if it starts to hurt, you probably shouldn't be squashing that in the first place. And there's a nice loop. 
this end of the cable is going to have the hook on it. So what I'm going to do is feed it into here and then through the hook and then back down again. And right about there looks good to me. And it's squashing time again. And there we have it. A nice lanyard with a hook on it that we can use to keep this thing in the boat. The next step is to use these hose clamps and secure our brackets onto the, the cup holder. Okay, I've now got the lanyard attached to one of the stainless steel hose clamps. And you see I've got them around the clamps. And we'll just get them good and tight. Okay, so there we are with a lanyard ready to go. The last thing is to put in a little bit of weather stripping around the inside just to keep it from rattling a whole bunch when you've got a can or something in there. Here we are. And there you have it. Beverage management system is complete. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going fishing.